Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 8 Pagan. Last time we met the Cabal of Sorcery, and they are an angry, moody bunch. Except for the Disciples, they're pretty cool. Hello, and what are you called? My name is Deimos, and you are I am Tegan. Not that it matters that much, because I doubt you're important to the story. Which is why I'm going to completely ignore your roommate and continue on this path. In any case, I am really excited to play this game. I usually start these videos with a joke. I don't have one today. I just, I'm excited. <laughs> I want to play this game more than I want to think up of a joke. Why, well, that's a big set of doors and an interesting path, and I am not surprised that I do not... A lot of mushroom clouds, too. I am surprised that I do not have the key to that door, but I decided to give it a shot anyways, because who knows, maybe the, uh... Maybe the sorcerers use the same key as the captain of the guard. Who knows? From town, we just happen to use the same key. I <laughs> the hall of the sorcerers is not locked, but it's not surprising considering the windows. All right, hello. Hello. What do you need, stranger? What are you called? My name is Talon, and you are? I am Tegan. Not that it matters much, once again, because you are a disciple. I just thought maybe you'd say something different because you're in this place, but it's your disciple. Okay, so uh, what is this? This is the library of sorcery. All right, and it is locked. Not too surprising, and I do not have a key. Once again, they didn't happen to use the same key as... I wonder. I, I wonder if I can grab any of this using the uh, aerial servant spell. Also, do I want any of this? I think I might want what's in the chest there. There's a jewelry box. There's some books. Some magic leggings. If I didn't find the magic leggings earlier, you could pick up some here. This game is very uh, generous with the armor. They don't... Some games... Yeah, you can easily miss a magical item. Alright, Aerial Servants. On the jewelry box. Can I get the jewelry box? Kalortzen! Bring that this way, my friend. Okay, I, uh... I don't see it on the ground, so did it go in my inventory? Yes, there it is! Bring that forward. And it contains a key! Cool! Alright, uh, wh why did I just do that? <laughs> okay, uh, well, hopefully I can get that key off that key ring and onto my key ring. Uh, otherwise, I think I just bought myself a second key ring. Okay, I'm glad that they let you do that. They give you a key ring, just in case you, uh, didn't have one at this point in the game, but... You'd have a mess of keys. What? What is the difference between a Torax and a Theurgist? I, I don't know. What is the difference between a Torax and a Theurgist, I ask. Interestedly, because I'm always interested in comedy. The other says, what? And, and so do I. What is the difference? Aerial Servant is a spell that does not take much mana. The first replies... Can I, can I get the chest through those bars? The, the chest is actually wider than the bars. I'm also noticing that, uh... Damn, I can never remember the punchline. Oh, I was hoping you could. Alright, come on out, chest! It, it, it's, t just tell it, this... Aerial Servant is an awesome spell! That is an awesomely powerful spell! Uh, okay, well, it just contains... A bunch of reagents for sorcery. But still, that was really cool! I got something that I shouldn't be able to achieve. Something I shouldn't be able to have at this point in the game, I don't think. Unless unless they were expecting me to use Aerial Servants, and then... Well, alright then. Alright, so I only have one more question, because I think most of these books are pretty obvious. Uh, and I can't learn from the books. What's in the barrels? This is a barrel! It contains... Uh, pickles? No, candles! Of the red, of the blood and ash variety. Okay. Interesting that it opens up the barrel. I thought I was gonna... My idea was to pull the barrel out, but apparently when you cast Aerial Servant on a barrel, it shows you the contents, unlike a chest, which allows you to teleport. Weird. Two different containers, two different, uh, decisions. I'm, I'm not questioning it. Uh, you know, I was thinking, the reason they have the bars like this isn't to prevent people from getting in. It's actually to prevent a demon getting out when it's summoned. And when a demon goes out of control, it's like, Rargh! Everyone's like, Oh no! Everyone! We can't control the demon! Get out! Get as quickly as you can or you'll be devoured! 
Which in this case, I think I just got myself devoured. Run! Run, Avatar! Get out! Get out before the demon kills you! Yeah, I just got a key. I just got a key. Let's uh, see what the key does. Politics of this area, but nope. Not the key to that door. I have no choice but to get involved with the politics of the sorcerers. Hello, Bane. I am ready and willing to make your deal. To become your disciple. Yes, I agree to your terms. You are perceptive and wise, my Danian. Firstly, in order to become a disciple, a sorcerer, you must ha have an alkalite for a sponsor. I shall be that for you. Secondly, as your sponsor, I will give you a true name. Damien you are to me, and Damien you shall be to the fire. My inner sight judged your name correctly, it would seem. I have always had that ability. Or you're just very confident in yourself. I wonder if there were any other options for me besides Damien. I'm th I think I was I think I was slotted with Damien from the start. I couldn't have said no, but to lend power to your true name, I must reveal to you, reveal mine to you. Sabri, Sabrien, Sabrien, it is, and it means well of the stars. Sabrien, Sabrien. Okay. <laughs> you tell me mine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. <laughs> now. Your first task as my disciple is to enter into the confines of our illustrious first alkalite and get from him his true name. I care not how you do this, just get it. Alright then, she cares not how I do this. This could get messy in one way or another. <laughs> it could get interesting. I, um, I don't know what I'm implying. I'm implying just about anything. Anything could happen. I am willing to do just about anything it takes. Well, not anything. I'm willing to do a lot. Your walking animation is a bit... You seem a bit uptight. I am just going to write in my diary before I do anything I regret. <laughs> the true name game. We're playing the, tr the name game. All right. <clears throat> Hello, Viserys. Was it Viserys? Let's play the name game. Tell me your true name so I can totally betray you. I mean, tell me of this place. This is the Sorcerer's Enclave. It, as the first Alkalites, it's my duty to make sure that sorcerers learn about the fire and keep the old ways alive. Actually, I'm thinking he's... He actually looks like a man who has a lower, more masculine... I'm, I'm actually going to change his voice if that is okay. Uh, first Alkalite? It is my position... Of, it is a position of respect amongst my kind. I'm, I'm thinking he's a more fiery, gregarious kind of person. You have dealings at Tenebrae? Of course, Dullard! Do you think we have uh, the time to grow our own food? Make our own clothing? Or craft our own buildings? We give Tenebrae the sure knowledge that the Lord of Flame will remain bound and... The volcano will remain dormant. In return, they free us from the necessities of handling any more than our basic needs. You, uh... It's shrewd. That's shrewd bargaining, sir. Your perceptions are both insightful and correct. Perhaps you have what it takes to become a sorcerer. Does this prospect intrigue you? Yes. Excellent. I will personally see to your tutoring. Is... That is, after you perform one small service for me. Uh-oh. Oops! I didn't mean to! I... That's... The choice didn't come up. I'm sorry. Leave this place. Forgive me. I have offended you. I am not so thin-skinned as to be offended by your remarks, but it shows prudence that you saw them to be offensive and can accept the fault of your error. What do you want? What is it? That's... And what is it that might be? I will tell you only once a deal has been struck. Fear not, I won't make you do something you will regret. Are you prepared to undertake my task? Yes, I am prepared. Excellent! The past pact has been made. You will be my disciple. And I sense that you are one of the rare individuals who the fire has chosen. 
The fire gives you your true name. You the true name, Damien. Yep, again. <laughs> Hold tightly to that name. It is your strength and also your weakness. Your true name, my true name, is Morduin. I give it to you so that you may learn sorcery from me. Reveal it upon the pain of death. The task you must perform is to gain the true name of Bane. She is deceptive and can and conniving a uh, deceptive and conniving conniving wench. Do not be fooled by her apparent friendliness. It is a ruse. She is power hungry and ambitious. It is my belief that she seeks the death of the master and myself in order to become the most powerful sorcerer in Pagan. This is not a problem in and of itself. It is how she intends to go about it that causes the problem. Were she to in issue the calling and challenge by the proper methods, I would surely defeat her. But knowing this, she intends to strike clandestinely. The factions that exist in the Enclave will war if that happens. The possibility of losing control of the Lord of Flame will vastly increase. Should this catastrophe come to pass, Pagan will be doomed. You must hurry, I know not when she will attack. Ooh, this is a tough choice. Oh, tough. They're throwing tough moral things at me, because, see, the thing is, that just implied that if I want to serve my own interests, I should go with Bane, because she's going to rock the boat, and uh, she's going to let loose the... the I, I need to let loose Pyros. Bane is going to let loose Pyros through a bloody civil war that is going to... Oh, ruin the lives of so many people. I mean, I thought what I was going to do... What I thought, I thought what I did to the people of Stratos was bad. <laughs> but... Ooh. I kind of don't like... Viser or uh, Vardion, sorry. I kind of don't like Vardion. Viserys was something. That was from someone else. Something else. I kind of dislike Vardion, but I think he's honest. And honestly, I think he's a lesser of two evils. I think he makes a good point from what I've heard from everyone else. Vardion is probably the better choice. But if I choose Vardion between the two, will my own interests be served as well? Or will I have to release Pyros a different way? This is interesting. I, I'm gonna, at one point I'm gonna replay this scenario and see what happens if I support the other person. In this case, I think I'm gonna go with Vardion because I think I can still, I think I can still achieve my own goals by choosing the moral high road. I'm gonna choose the moral high road here and go with this guy because I think it's the right thing to do and then I'll figure out a way to free Pyros. Hopefully, I'm not screwing myself here. Yes! What is it? We must hurry. We have no time to waste. I must begin the ritual now. It is... <laughs> Morduin. That's my name, you fool. Damien, that's your name. Uh, Bane? Uh, we, everyone knows that one. Uh, I mean, uh... Sabrian. Sabrian. A weak name for a weakling sorcerer. Watch now as I re uh, as what a real sorcerer does to. I just I missed the rest of that. Okay, so you're walking around randomly. What are you, what are you gonna do? Okay, in flam. Cow flam whiz bang. <laughs> Bowser, interest instant Bowser. How may I serve you, master? Let's <laughs> find the one called Sabrine. Put an end to her life and then return when she came. I command that you do this in Pyros's name. So you need the real name of a person to sick a demon on her? <laughs> okay. I'm not too worried about people knowing about my true name. I can beat up a Bowser. Even if that Bowser can use magical flaming explosion appearances, I think I'm gonna be okay. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I have some things to worry about. Jeez! Ooh. <laughs> and a Bowser noise. I do so enjoy the cries of torment. Well, at least somebody's enjoying this. I have sensed a demonic presence within the confines of the Enclave. 
Now this guy I'm gonna give the voice of the like the Emperor from Fardian, what is the meaning of this? Do I have to use the dark side of the force on you? Forgive me, master. Bane was planning to assassinate you. I'm sounding a bit more like Oh, Patrick Stewart or something. <laughs> With the aid of this stranger, I summoned a demon to rid us of the threat. Surely you understand that I had to do something. I'm not so sure that he will. I understand no such thing. Get up. You should have brought this to my attention before acting upon your baseless suspicions. Yes, Master. I only sought to protect you. Well... In your feeble attempt to guard my person, you have destroyed a valuable alkalite at a time when I need to call upon the Lord of the Flame. How exactly do you propose to solve this dilemma? If you permit me to remain your first alkalite, I believe that I can give you a fine disciple to assist in the ritual fire. Take that one there. He may look like a weirdo. He calls himself Tegan. He, he may sound like a weirdo. <laughs> His sorcerer's potential is decent, I think, or something. Of course I can tell he's good. I do not presume to tell me my craft. Teach him our ways and keep him in keep in mind that while he is your disciple, all of his actions will reflect upon you first, Alkalite. Yes, I understand my master. I will provide with an excellent al you with an excellent Alkalite. We will begin training immediately. See that you do, and when he is ready, send him to me. <laughs> If he can survive the Obsidian Fortress, he will be ready for the Ritual of Flame. Yes, Master. Every single order has a dungeon. <laughs> well, Disciple, it's time to make you make an alkalite out of you. Go and read the books of our library. They will show you how to become a sorcerer. Come to me only if you have questions about sorcery in general. Here's the key to the library. Now, run along now. I... Already had access to the library, but thank you for the key. <laughs> where, where is the key? Gosh, you run around fast. Well, I kind of feel sad because I think the outcome would have been basically the same either way. And I kind of thought Bane was more pleasant in certain ways. I just, the honest thing is I just didn't trust her. I'm sorry. Sorry I didn't trust you, Bane. Maybe you would have been cool. I don't know. I get the feeling now considering how those events went down, that things would have turned out basically the same. Right. Key? Where are you, Key? You gave me a key? There it is. Okay. It's always... Why do you have to put it under things in the last place I look so I have to tear apart my entire inventory? Well, we gotta keep in mind that this is... Not many games use a free-form inventory system like this, so... Things were very experimental, so we have to be nice to this game, but... Ugh. They could have... They certainly could have done things a lot better. But this... This was a very... Very early, experimental, but very cool game. A Wand of Flame Bolts! Hey, can I have this? I mean, my actions reflect on you anyway, so I mean, if I'm a thief from you, then you're kind of a thief, right? Well, just in case that logic doesn't hold fire or water or whatever it's going to hold in this case, I am going to say... Learning Flame Bolt is a steal. Okay, well I got a wand of Flame Bolt. I can fire off a few Flame Bolts if I want. Not sure if that was necessary. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go to the... Fortress or something, you said? Uh, did he lie to me? I, uh... Don't... When did he lie to me? That... That Bane was gonna kill... I, uh, well, let's see, you are quite devious. I thought it would see, I thought you would see it that way. A job needed doing, and I was the one to do it. Very simple. Now, about your training. I would learn more about sorcery. Excellent, knowledge is power. What do you know? What, what would you know? Tell me about spellcasting. is required to contain the power channeled into the focus channel candles are used oh I could have been casting sorcery already I thought 
that I would need to go through some sort of... I would need to get some sort of item as a prerequisites like like the other schools but no I could have been I could have been casting those kind of spells already I guess it's placed strategically near certain candles unleash the shape of the energies to be channeled okay so I'm gonna have to learn how to do this I think I'm gonna save that for next time we got through all the political stuff I'll learn to cast the spells and then I'll do them next time. So, we have something in... We, we've got a lot of interesting stuff. We've got... We're gonna learn a whole new school of magic. And we're gonna go through a dungeon. I can't wait. So I'll see... We'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Good night, good people of Earth.